Ciao, hello, ahoy. This is Cree, part of the national coordinators of the Zeitgeist movement in Italy. I am truly excited to be virtually here, there, now, with you in Prague, to share the activities of our Italian chapter and future projects we are working on. It all began back in 2008 after the release of the Zeitgeist Addendum, which inspired many of us in Italy to come together and form our national chapter. Over the years, we have made great, certainly, move it forward, to say it in a familiar way, creating the website zeitgeistitalia.org, the podcast, and citizen local working groups all across the country, thanks to the dedication of hundreds of activists and the support of thousands of sympathizers, we have carried out numerous initiatives that have tangibly spread the Zeitgeist message. We have screened the Zeitgeist series in many cities, held conferences and symposiums, spread our ideas on social media, and even translated and adapted international material to make it accessible to everyone. We have given presentations in schools, created urban gardens, and regenerated old PCs with Linux, demonstrating how our ideas can be applied in everyday life. Additionally, our tech team has worked on exciting projects such as self-built 3D printers, wrap-up, hydroponic systems and other innovative initiatives, including the Science Tech Outreach Project Zeit News. To further support our activities, we founded the Sustainable Society Association, which has allowed us to obtain free or discounted space for our events, helping us better fulfill our mission. This explosion of creativity led us to collaborate with the television host Paolo Bonolis in his renowned talk show Il Senso della Vita, The Meaning of Life. This opportunity allowed us to reach an even broader audience as we were able to broadcast a series of Zeitgeist clips at the end of each episode on national TV. However, we also faced challenges. With the rise in political scam of the Five Star Movement, unfortunately, we lost many activists, nearly all of them, and this led to the suspension or abandonment of many of our working groups. Despite the difficulties, we continue to fight for our cause and for new ways to spread our message. We initiated a collaboration with the filmmaker and visionary Silvano Agosti, organizing the Pensiero Sostenibile Sustainable Thinking Media Festival at his independent cinema Azzurro in Rome. These events allowed us to use the power of art and cinema to spread social awareness. We also experimented with various initiatives, such as Full saving recovery with our German friends from fullsharing.d and during the first European meetup of the Zeitgeist movement in Rotterdam. In Milan, still with the same friends, we we started a project called the Unity Project, meant to avoid the waste of food, distribute it for free and limit the use of money by sharing as many resources as possible. We also have organized lectures to remember and reflect on important events of the past, such as the 50th anniversary from the 68 Students' Revolt and the 20th anniversary from the 2001 slaughter of students and protesters in Genoa by the police at the G8 summit during and after the No Global demonstration. In both cases, we have invited the renowned people that were present and active during those dramatic events. But now, let's talk about our more recent activities with the help of the other coordinators. Grazie. Thank you. Decoi. Hi. I'm Davide, another coordinator of the Italian chapter. I will tell you about another of our flagship projects, the itinerant laboratory for resilience. From now on, we will call it with its acronym, LIR. But first, I should tell you about the Zeitkamp. 
Since 2018, we have been organizing this innovative way of meeting for activists and sympathizers of the Zeitgeist movement. The Zeit count takes place every summer in different places that have a strong attraction for us both from the naturalistic point of view and the host community. It's a way to get to know in person the many friends who follow the movement and create a common vision and give a follow-up to our activities. The Italian chapter of the Tigers movement has been dealing with projects related to sustainability and self-sufficiency for a long time. But after 2020, with all the crazy restrictions imposed, in addition to the continuous increase in the cost of raw materials and the speculation of the monopolistic companies, self-sufficiency has become a real urgency for many of us, if not for all. The real is the opportunity we created to find time to learn techniques and skills that could make us as independent as possible from the system. In the last three years, we have organized five main labs. In 2020, the realization of a building with the bioconstruction technique of earth and straw, which, in addition to using easily available, cheap and ecological raw materials, guarantees great thermal insulation properties, durability and fireproof properties. Last year, during our annual Zeitkamp, we created three laboratories with the collaboration of an expert engineer, realizing uh, pyrolytic stoves, which by exploiting the pyrolysis process, optimize the combustion process and produce an optimal fertilizer as waste. A solar oven, which use solar energy to allow you to cook without depending on gas, electricity or wood combustion. A solar dehydrator, to allow you to preserve the products of your vegetable garden for a long time without consuming electricity. Finally, this year, again during the Zeitkamp, we created the solar power shower, which, thanks to a panel with a simple irrigation pipe wrapped around itself, produces around 10 liters of hot water, which, with the addition of a mixer, allow you to have a shower at the perfect temperature. Obviously, everything we build is for the benefit of everyone, trying to get as many people as possible to participate alive, and we are also working at creating an open wiki on our website to make sure that everything we build can be replicated by anyone with the help of instructions and video tutorials under the Creative Commons license. Thank you to have listened to me. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, I'm Veronica and I too coordinate the Italian chapter of the Zeitgeist Movement together with the others. Too bad we weren't able to be there with you right now, but this encourages us to want to meet you as soon as possible. Perhaps why not to organize the first European meetup right here in Italy, in which you will certainly be all invited, possibly as early as 2024. Anyway. I'm here to tell you about our latest project, probably the most ambitious of all, the Gift Economy Network. Certainly, the Tigers movement, since its very inception, has tried to inform people about the great scam of the monetary system, the blackmail of having to earn one's living, and the social control connected to it. Which has become more evident than ever in recent years, in which we have seen a large number of political dissidents whose bank accounts have been frozen in Canada, the US and the UK. And we are witnessing the political design of transforming cash into virtual currency to effectively close the circle of social control. Back to the gift economy, well, here in Italy we haven't invented anything. The gift economy has always existed and always will exist. And it simply consists in conceiving the people around us as part of an extended family. What do I mean by this? I mean that everything we normally take for granted with our nuclear family, we can extend to the people around us, those in our neighborhood and even those in our town or city. For example, when we donate our time to our sister or brother, 
We don't ask them for anything in return, right? So do our parents towards us and we towards them, obviously, when it's not a dysfunctional family. So do our friends and it's mutual, right? This approach applies to everything from time to care, to the transfer of knowledge, to the gift of an object. Here in the Gift Economy Network that we have founded in numerous cities in Italy, we do just that. With the only difference that we extend it to people that are not part of our family unit or our circle of close friends. However, we try to start from the creation of a real local community where following a presentation in which we explain the goals of the project, the people who are sensitive to the things we illustrate decide to dedicate an ever-increasing portion of, it, of their time to the gift economy, consequently taking away an ever greater portion of energy from the prevailing capitalist consumer system. In other words, it is the simplest and most practical thing that could be created right away without having to wait to create all the necessary conditions for an LLRBE. But going precisely in that direction, only gradually and in a nonviolent manner. However, international groups are also starting to take shape such as the latest groups born in uh, Tenerife, for example, and other places in Europe. The reference website is economygift.org. If you want to take a look at it and become yourself the coordinator of the group of your neighborhood or your city, as we have done here in Italy, where every coordinator of the Tigers movement has in turn become also a coordinator of the local gift economy group in his hometown. On the practical side, in order to be able to coordinate with the rest of the group, we use a simple Telegram channel in which each member of the group expresses a need or offers a gift. And both can naturally be a, either material or immaterial. In short, we have taken Gandhi's teaching literally. Be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you all for giving us the opportunity to share our story and vision. Together, we can safeguard that pale blue dot, the world, our only home. Join us, share your ideas, and unleash your creativity, because only together can we show a new possible world. For further information and insights, check out zeitgeistitalia.org and follow our Telegram channel for updates. Grazie, thank you, Gie and I hope to have said it well. Ciao!